Hey guys, this is the Dono 926 and welcome to my unboxing and review of the SH Figure Arts SDCC 2014 Armored Black Ranger. Much like every other Figure Arts that's ever come out, except for the Tamashi Web exclusives, he comes in a blister packaging that's see-through or clear so that you can see the figure. On the left hand side he has an image of himself. Here in the middle you see the Power Rangers logo and the 20th you know, celebrating the 20, uh, which was 20 years. Here on the right, you see the Tamashi Nation sign, the Bandai sign, and the SDCC 2014 sign, or just the regular sign for Comic Con, I guess. Here on the side, you see the name Armored Black Ranger. It's also here on the right hand side. On the left hand side, you just have an image of the Ranger with some metallic paint uh, decals over here. Oh, hold on, I'm trying to get a sh shot of it. There you go. And then at the, the bottom is the logo and the, and the name of the figure again. On the back you just see the figure. Some poses that he can do. So it comes with some optional parts. Yeah. This is a pretty cool figure. Uh, it's modeled after the last episode of Season 1 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers where um, the Green Ranger is slowly losing his powers because the Red Ranger fails to extinguish the candle that Rita set up that was draining his powers or burning away his powers with Goldar. And essentially, um, Zack and Tommy go on dates on a double date. Um, Zack incidentally buys some cursed pearls and the monster they fight ends up spraying acid at the Black Ranger and in order to help the Green Ranger gives him his power shield because it has some sort of healing ability. Personally, I didn't know that. I don't remember that as a child, but watching the episode again on Netflix is pretty awesome. All right, so let's take him out of the package. Let's see if he comes with anything. I think he pretty much comes pretty much like any other SH figure arts figure. He comes with some instructions. You know. Pretty regular instructions, just like any other SH figure arts, with the uh, with the difference of it being in English instead of Japanese. See, English. As you can see, the figure comes with three pairs of hands, um, one extra hand by itself, and my guess that is the hand for um, the blades, which was the bladed blaster, the blade form blaster. And then he also does come with a Thunder Slinger and his Battle Axe. So let's take him out of the packaging. There you go. There's the Blade Blaster. And here's the Thunder Slinger. And this is pretty much a staple for every SH figure. It's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers figure. I kind of wish that they came with the regular blaster like Jason did. But, you know, it's all good. You could always switch the weapons out. And then here's the battle axe. Again, I kind of wish this slid forward like it did in the cartoon. I mean, well, the car in the TV show, but it doesn't. And I guess they want you to hold it rather than put it into gun mode. Because, again, gun mode has this slid forward. pieces and I just realized I shouldn't have done that only because I wanted to give an in-depth look at each individual hand but eh, it's all good they're regular SH figure hands uh, most of them are for gripping the blades or for holding onto the axe um, right now he just comes essentially uh, with the hands of just like clenching a fist And pretty much like any other SH figure arts figure from the Power Rangers line, he has all the articulation, the ankles, the toes, his articulation in the knee. Got a double articulation in the knee from up here and down here. He does have his power belt. The details on these like figures are always amazing. Like if you take a really close look, I understand my camera might not be showing it very well, but Essentially, you can see the mammoth and the, the mammoth coin in his power in his what's called his morpher. Here's the 
um, holster for the, the blade blaster. You could always pull that off if you wanted to. And then at the same time, um, you'll notice that essentially this is the same sculpt of the Green Ranger with the exception, oops, with the exception of the boots. Also, it's the same sculpt of this guy over here, the Red Ranger with the power shield or the armor. I call it the power shield. That's what I'm used to calling it. So what the biggest difference is that um, the Red Ranger, unlike the Green Ranger, he has both the uh, the green, the, which is Dragon Dagger holster and so we move his arm and he has a holster for his blade blaster. I'm just going to set him aside right over there so you can see him. He does have great articulation on the neck. He can go all 360. He can go up and down. He can bring his arm up. Uh, I will say this, though. The shield is keeping his arm from going all the way up, which kind of sucks. Um, it's sort of, if you look at it here, right here, it, it sort of looks like you can unsnap the shield from him. And then when you move it around a little bit, it's, yeah, it's sort of loose. You probably could. I wouldn't recommend trying to because it looks like that it's molded on. But probably if you popped his arms out and the shoulder portion, you probably can get the shield off. Because it does move around a lot. Like, it's, it's again, it's just its own molded shield. It's not molded to him. Unlike the, um, which calls the gold uh, armband things here. These are molded to him. Or painted to him, if you want to say that. The belt does come off also, much like any other Power Ranger figure. You can see that's why it's moving around like that. Um, I am I'm really really sad that it doesn't come with a Green Ranger. Uh, which cost? It doesn't come with the Dragon Dagger. He doesn't come with the Dragon Dagger. But at the same time, he didn't get the Dragon Dagger in the episode. And essentially, in the episode, he did only wear this the which cost? the armor for maybe like ten seconds. Like, really, like, 10 seconds before the whole team came in and they destroyed the monster. There he is from the back. The detail on the power shield is amazing, though. It, it's, it's been amazing. Like, even on the TV show, I've never really noticed those, uh, this up-down, left-right thing here on the diamond. It's friggin' amazing. Yeah, it does look good on the Black Ranger. Kind of reminds me, like, the back here kind of reminds me of the White Ranger from Dino Thunder. Maybe that's uh, something you guys who do customs could work on, you know. But, all in all, he's a great figure. He uh, retails for about $45. Um, you probably can get him on Amazon through a third party again. But again, it's one of those things where uh, it's going to be ri ridiculously expensive. Big Bad Toy Stores has him for uh, $64.99. And then, uh, uh, he's on eBay also for about um, $75, give or take. So, if you really want him in, the, in your collection, please feel free to check those sites out. He is a great addition to my collection. I'm always happy to have one of these guys, or another one. I am sad that they're pretty much done with the SH Figure Arts Mighty Morphin line. I'm hoping for more teams. I understand that, the, I know that the, uh, which calls the Samurai Rangers are out. Not a big fan of those guys. But, um, oh, the Samurai Rangers and the, which calls the Ninja Storm Power Rangers are also out. Um, SPD in Japan, and then Overdrive is out, but again, Japanese, there's a bunch of them, but it's, Mighty Morphin is my favorite of all of them. As always, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, or subscribe, you know, leave in the comments um, anything that you want to see in the next video, or how you feel about the figure, and uh, until next time, geeks.